Hey folks, Joseph Ace Bora here. Since the first day of summer was yesterday, and I'm already on summer vacation, yeah, since a few weeks ago, I decided to review, what else? A Charlie Brown review. A special review, but this time, seeing that it's um, set around this time, how about You're in Love, Charlie Brown? It's a special about Charlie Brown dealing with his feelings since all of his classmates, uh, well, except for Linus Van Pelt or so, seems to dislike him. He hardly ever gets to hang around with everyone and so on and so forth. And that is until he discovers the little redhead girl. And the fact that he's trying his best to actually make conversations, be able to get to know her, but every time he tries, you know, he keeps failing. Yeah. But this was the, the beginning where it all started. This is the fourth primetime special that aired on June 12, 1967. It stars Peter Robbins as Charlie Brown, Sally Dreyer as Lucy Van Pelt, Chris Shea as Linus Van Pelt, Gabriel DeFaria Ritter as Pepper and Patty, along with Shermie and Pickpen, and Altery as Violet and Frida, Glenn Mendelson as Schroeder, Lisa DeFaria as Patty, Kathy Steinberg as Sally Brown, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy. Created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and is directed by Bill Melendez. The special begins during late spring, already set out for summer vacation for the rest of the classmates at Birchwood School. Charlie Brown, however, was feeling very upset, mostly because the entire classmates hates him. And on the way to school, just when the, he was about to have some breakfast, but of course Snoopy at first was going to make breakfast uh, for Charlie Brown and, and the rest, but it turns out that he's only making breakfast for himself. A big breakfast. <laughs> so anyway, he meets Linus and tells him that he's very frustrated about that he can't enjoy um, himself like all the other kids do at school. That is until he begins to notice the little redhead girl. Very cute girl. That's passing by from the bus. Linus immediately tells Charlie Brown that he's definitely in love. So during the, the next few days, you know, before the last day of school, Charlie Brown is trying his best to agonize over the little redhead girl, using all the different ways to impress her and try to get all the attention he needs. But every time he tries to do that, he fails miserably, embarrassingly too. Um, the first time he tries to do this was when he writes a, a love note, but then he gets called by the teacher just to read his reports, but then he accidentally read the love letter that he was about to write for the little redhead girl. And right in front of class and all the kids laugh at him. Then he goes to the pencil yeah, he, he needed to sharpen his pencil, trying to see if the little red-haired girl was looking at him. But, <laughs> unfortunately, he accidentally sharpens his ballpoint pen. <laughs> uh, the lunch hour was very frustrating for him because he's all alone, eating a peanut butter sandwich. And Linus uh, came by. But, unfortunately, he's trying to find the courage to... To have the little redhead girl come over for lunch and gets to talk to her, but tries to do that, but he just fails. He started putting the lunch bag um, on his head. You know, he's just feeling very nervous. <sighs> of course, just already on his way home, Lucy and, and Violet were making fun of him about the wrong answer that he had at school. Yeah, actually calling them stupid. 
But of course, uh, Linus uh, came and and tries to uh, defend him and and revealing that uh, the Charlie Brown's in love, but it just causes him to be nervous. Now that afternoon, Charlie Brown decided to go all the way to Lucy's uh, psychiatric booth and try to explain his problems. But Lucy's already upset because Schroeder just keeps ignoring her after she breaks his piano and the Beethoven bust. Which, of course, Schroeder actually brings uh, a spare, <laughs> so he doesn't have to worry about that. Later on, Charlie Brown meets Pepper and Patty and talks about the girl at school to see if, if, if Pepper and Patty can rearrange the problems here so that way Charlie Brown will get to meet her. The biggest mistake of them all, though, was Pepper and Patty decided to choose Lucy instead of the little, little redhead girl. So that didn't work out. So, as the last day of school approaches, he tries to find a way to actually get up early in the morning just to go up to the bus stop to see if maybe the little red-haired girl will appear just so he could take the bus. But unfortunately he got so tired he fell asleep at the bus stop where all the kids started to go on and the bus just arrived, passes him. So Charlie Brown accidentally missed the bus so he had to run all the way to Birchwood School he had to climb all the way up to the fence, got inside, because the fence was already locked. He tries to not make a sound, trying to go into Miss Offmore's class. Yeah, because that's the teacher, Miss Offmore. But then Linus found out that, yeah, he was late at class, and the teacher calls on him. And he just, he just couldn't take it anymore. He just yells at the teacher about that he misses the bus and now he's been sent to the principal's office. While all the kids are just playing around during recess, but he doesn't get a chance to, um, to see what the little red-haired girl is. So then when school was finally over, uh, he tries to get back to the bus to see where sh she is but Sally misses it and that is until he found a letter that says I like you Charlie Brown that was signed by the little redhead girl so he was like like so excited that he finally gets uh, a love note from the little redhead girl and he was like jumping around but he was like asking to himself, um, good grief, how would I live until September? So that means he had to wait until September to, to see uh, the little redhead girl. <laughs> so you never know how that's going to turn out. Well, anyway, um, it's a very good special. I mean, it really shows about how would you feel if if your classmates had had neglected you and and treating you like crap but then suddenly you're trying your best to impress someone who may be able to to know you very well I mean no matter how many habits you have to choose I mean I know it's not easy having to to know someone that you love and that you have to impress her to to get to know her better I mean you just suddenly feel very nervous and you get you just feel totally embarrassed in front of everyone when you're doing all these uh, mistakes but it was always cute to see Charlie Brown trying to get to know a beautiful girl. I mean, because why not? I mean, I can understand it's not easy, and it really isn't. I mean, hey, I probably felt that way too if I tried to get to know someone. But hey, <laughs> you know how it is. This is also the first special that did introduce us to Peppermint Patty. So I, I thought it was really cool to see that. Because it was actually introduced from the classic comic strips the year before. And of course, this was the first time we ever get to hear all the adult voices um, sound exactly what they usually sound. You know, the wah 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 wah, wah 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 wah, wah 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 wah. 
Yeah, the tromboning, as, as it's referred to. And then you get to see all these other characters dealing with their problems, yeah. I mean, yeah, there are times when, God, Lucy and, and Violet were totally jerks. You know, treat, teasing the Charlie Brown. You know, just right when he was trying to get back home, you know, with Linus. I mean, I, I'm glad the Linus tries to defend them, but didn't seem to do a good job at that point. <laughs> well, I mean, it sucks to see Charlie Brown getting teased a lot, too. But in the end, it, it happens. They, they also later uh, used that bit in um, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, which is the musical special in 1985. So basically it explains it. But it's always cool that we get to see the little red-haired girl in other specials too. Like, like we begin to find out who the real name was. I mean, sometimes it's Pega Jean or, or at this rate, Header. As you saw in It's Your First Kiss, Charlie Brown. Um, and of course, you get to spot the little red-haired girl in the Peanuts movie in 2015. <laughs> oh, yeah. and of course, you get to see Snoopy in this one, and Sally. There's also uh, a moment where Sally was actually preparing herself to graduate. Yeah, so she was wearing a cap and gown. Listening to the graduation music in the mix. <laughs> but she was just practicing. I thought that was pretty cute. Or I even loved the line where after um, he accidentally uh, made a fool out of himself in front of the whole class. Yeah, Linus actually says that. And, and this is when he says, A cup of the word from a friend. <laughs> I forgot one more thing. And I just got my late Valentine's Day gift from this year, and it's a Charlie Brown doll, and it's huge, right here. <laughs> well, it, it's not that huge, but it's, it's a little bit bigger. But uh, it has uh, the Valentine's Day card right here, and there's that Peanuts card, you know, with Snoopy on there. Holding the heart, yeah, you can see on the back too. <laughs> it's really cool to have this doll. And I just got this at CBS uh, recently, and I'm glad I did because it's definitely worth it so I can hang around with it anytime. <laughs> it's a nice gift. But anyway, it's a great special. Really enjoyed it. So, just like all the other specials, I mean, either way, um, recommend it. So I give You're In Love, Charlie Brown, five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.